are you familiar with chandeliers? So take a look at this figure. Did you notice something about the picture? Or how is it related to our lesson? Let me describe you the picture and I let you decode the application of our lesson in this one. Based on a figure, a chandelier is hung perpendicularly to the ceiling. Suppose that the chandelier represents our graph. So there is an imaginary horizontal line beneath the chandelier itself or the x-axis. And an imaginary vertical line from ceiling down to the floor Notice that the chandelier approaches near the blue horizontal line. But as it gets near, we have seen that it doesn't touch the horizontal line as well as the vertical line. So these figures illustrate how some rational functions look like when graphed. This is just only one of the almost infinitely many applications of rational function that we see in our daily lives. Let's discuss the differences of rational equation, rational function, and rational inequality. Based on our definition, a rational function r of x is a function of the form r of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomial function and q of x are not equal to zero okay so these are always written in the form of any smaller letter in the alphabet succeeded by the variable and it enclosed in parentheses so the next one is rational equation so it involves rational expression so for example Rational inequalities involves inequality signs such as less than, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and not equal. And here are the symbols and notation commonly used in an inequality. And here are the symbols that we use for included. And here are the symbols that we use for excluded. Good day, students! And I'm here to teach you on how to solve a rational equation. So, the given is 1 over x is equal to 1 over 4 minus x. So, first thing to do is find the LCD or the least common denominator. So what is the least common denominator of this given example? So, the LCD is x times the quantity of 4 minus x. So next step is to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD of the denominator. Copy the given equation, which is 1 over x is equal to 1 over 4 minus x. Then multiply both sides by x times the quantity of 4 minus x. We can use the multiplication of fraction on how to solve a rational equation. x times the quantity of 4 minus x over 1 multiplied by 1 over x. So we can use distributive property. So x multiplied by 1 is equal to x. 4 minus x multiplied by 1 is equal to to 4 minus x over 1 multiplied by x is equal to x. On the right side, 1 times x is equal to x. 1 multiplied by 4 minus x is equal to 4 minus x all over 4 minus x multiplied by 1 is equal to 4 minus x. We can use the cancellation method we will cancel the same term of this given equation. So cancel x on the numerator and on the denominator. On the right side, cancel 4 minus x on the numerator and on the denominator. And it will become 
4 minus x is equal to x. We can use addition property of equality. So, 4 minus x plus x is equal to x plus x. And it will become 4 is equal to 2x. We can use division property of equality. So, divide both sides by 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 2x two divided by 2 is equal to x. So, 2 is equal to x. We can use symmetric property of equality. Therefore, the value of x is equal to 2. Let us proceed to example number 2. So, the given example is x plus 1 over x is equal to 2. So, first thing to do is convert whole number to fractional form. x over 1 plus 1 over x is equal to 2 over 1. Then, we will find the LCD of the given example. So, the LCD is 1 times x times 1 is equal to x. And x will be x over 1. So, next step is copy the given x over 1 plus 1 over x is equal to 2 over 1. Then, we multiply both sides by the LCD, which is x over 1. Then, we can use the distributive property. x times x is equal to x squared. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Then, copy the operation, which is addition. x times 1 is equal to x. 1 times x is equal to x equal to x times 2 is equal to 2x 1 times 1 is equal to 1 then simplify by dividing x squared divided by 1 is equal to x squared then copy the operation which is addition x divided by 2x is equal to 1 Okay, equal to 2x divided by 1 is equal to 2x. Then we must equate it to 0. To do that, we must apply the addition property of equality. So, x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to negative 2x plus 2x. x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, in order for us to solve the x, we can use factoring by square of binomial x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. To simplify, we can extract it both sides of the equation square root of x minus 1 squared is equal to square root of 0. Then, x minus 1 squared will be x minus 1 equal to square root of 0 will be 0. We can apply the addition property of equality. x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 plus 1. And it will become x is equal to 1. To check whether the solution is correct, Substitute all the variables x by its value and it satisfies the equation and prove that the answer is correct. 